Hi right, Tyler, I've got the boys with me. Um, a long time you've been gone and uh, I think uh, Charles is about twice as big as he was when you left, so he's growing, he's a big boy now. And Alby, well he's Alby, he's, uh, he's a happy boy. So uh, yeah, we've missed you, it's been a long time, but you've made the finals guys, great effort, so proud of you. Um, so I congratulate, uh, it's been a big week Tyler, I congratulate you on your 150th game, it's a great effort. Um, it's gone so quick and uh, we're just all so proud of you and what you've achieved and then uh, especially last night the All-Australian, Elby's had enough, he's gone. Then last night the All-Australian, uh, great reward. So just uh, from mum and, mum and I and the rest of the family, wish you all the best for finals over in Perth. We know you can do it you guys and uh, you can go a long way in the finals so good luck and go Fires. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's been obviously a really difficult year for, for everyone. Um, you know, my, my, my personal situation, my family is really close and mum and dad and my family love coming to games and you know, they've been a, a great support for me for not only my, my AFL career but throughout my junior career and um, you know, life before becoming an AFL player. So um, yeah, for me it's just sort of another thing. Uh, I don't you know, 150 games I'm really proud of but um, I think it's it's one of those things you look back on again like I said about the Australian getting the nod for that it's sort of like something you reflect on later um, but I know mum and dad would be really stinging that they can't can't be up here or over here supporting us um, you know, they, they really really miss a the game they you know occasionally travel into state um, to see us play and certainly don't miss a Melbourne game so um, yeah, I know they'd be, they'd be really upset they won't be able to be here, but it's, yeah, it's just the, the way the world is at the moment. Um, the positive thing is we've been able to, you know, get away with my teammates and uh, we've been able to get to know each other even, even better than we previously did. And um, yeah, the years, although it hasn't been the ideal year, it's, it's you know, it's, it's worked out to a, a point where we're able to, to do what we love. We're able to play footy and, and you know perform and work and chase our passions and, and, and dreams. So we're, we're some of the fortunate people in, in Australia at the moment. Now forward side bottom, inside 50, straight ahead Adams, he knows he's got it. The fact that, that staff and players were able to bring their families up to, to the hub in, in Twin Waters and you know for a long period of time we had close to 150 people who were living as Collingwood people inside the, the performance hub and you know, there's people there that you'd never met before, and um, you know, partners of both staff and players that we hadn't, and children of staff and players that you hadn't spent a lot of time around. Um, you know, it gave us a great opportunity to, to sort of come together. Um, you know, we're all dealing with the, with the same things: being away from home, being away from our, our other loved ones, and you know, some of the players up here haven't had the luxury of having um, their support networks around them. They you know, look like guys like Lyndon Dunn. Um, you know that he's he's got two kids and his wife at home, um, so I think what it's done is it's, it's brought us together. And a lot of a lot of the time that happens through adversity. So um, yeah, we've it's been a bit of a silver lining the fact that we've, we've been able to get to know each other um, more intimately. And um, yeah, I don't think anyone's felt out of place being being around each other. Well, hopefully we've got some silverware. That'd be nice, but. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've seen my grandparents, um, so no doubt it'll, it'll be you know, a bit of a barbecue at my dad's place. You know, we're, as I said, a really close family. Um, dad thinks he's a great, great chef on the barbecue, so and he and he loves being the host. So there'll no doubt be a catch up at, at my dad's place, and um, yeah, hopefully there's you know some some good times to come over this summer um, and a chance to reflect on. on you know, what 2020 has, has dealt us and um, yeah, just look forward to some family time and, and relaxing, but yeah, hopefully there's a, there's a big cup sitting on the dinner table.